Okay, are you ready for this? <laughs> I, I, I want to do an intro, but I'm just like so mad, so I don't even like, like, hello, I'm mad right now, and I just want to rant a little bit. So I am currently reading Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo, and I'm enjoying the Six of Crows duology, like, so much. Like, I've been reading it at a very slow pace because I'm busy and I have to work during the pandemic since I work in a grocery store. And I also have online school now, so it's not like I have a ton of more time. I do have a little bit, so I've been reading like a chapter or so a day, if sometimes a little bit more. But now this is kind of my fault for going on Instagram when I was supposed to be doing schoolwork because I got distracted, as, as you do. And I was just scrolling through, and I don't even think I was on my bookstagram account. I think I was just on my personal account, which is like also like... Makes me a little bit more mad, <laughs> even though that's kind of my fault. I don't know, but I'm, I'm just I'm just mad. So, I'm sorry if none of this like makes sense, my rambling, but anyway, I was just scrolling through my phone, and I came across like one of those accounts where it's just kind of like funny, like, fandom things, sometimes they're like inaccurate, It'll, just like those bookstagram accounts that are dedicated to like one specific fandom or something, and they have like Tumblr posts or just like pictures of funny text and stuff. So I, I think I like scrolled upon one that was like of Six of Crows. And I think the first one I found really funny. And in the comments below, someone kept on like talking about like this one side being funny. And, and that was like the last slide or something. So I skipped through and I, I was just reading them. And on like the third slide or something, I got a spoiler for Co Crooked Kingdom. And I am like so upset because I'll just have to tell you the spoiler. So, I'm just gonna put my hand up in case, like, you're trying to avoid the spoiler so you don't go through what I've gone through this morning. So, I'm gonna put my hand up for whenever I'm talking about the spoiler, and when my hand is down, that means it's okay to turn your volume up or look at this. Well, I guess you should still be looking at the screen. But, I'll put my hand up for when I'm talking about said thing. Okay, so, it's spoiled for me that Matthias dies in Crooked Kingdom. I'm not entirely sure how, just that it sounds like he gets injured. And apparently Nina loses her powers because of the Jurda Parem, or I'm, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. But apparently like she somehow loses her powers from that, or like recovering from it or something, and she can't heal him. And like that just kind of hurts because that was probably like my favorite ship in the whole story. And like I know that's like not the main plot of the book or like anything main, but it just still ruined like that scene for me, you know what I mean? Like, when you write, like, you don't just kill off a character just to kill off a character. Usually it's to put, provoke some kind of feeling in the reader, or to move the plot forward, or, so, or something along those lines. And that entire scene, or scenes, were, like, ruined for me. And then now I will, like, see the build-up and maybe some foreshadowing, and, like, yeah, I would get some of those goodies, but those are the types of things I wanted while rereading it if I chose to reread it. So... I'm just kind of mad because I felt like a whole element was spoiled for me. Okay, now I'm gonna make sure I don't mention the spoiler again, and if I do, I'll put my hand back up. But it just, like, really, like, made me sad because there was, like, no warning for the spoiler. I was just looking at this funny Six of Crows post, and, like, I eventually did read the end one, but it was just, like... Like, I had no warning. Like, there's no spoiler warning or anything, and I guess maybe that's my fault, but... I still felt like... I still felt like that scene was ruined for me. Now, like, when I do read the book, maybe I'll come across that scene, or element, or event, I'll just say event, and maybe it won't be so bad, maybe I'll still get some kind of emotional response to it, but also, like, I think, like, the point of reading it is that I would be surprised by said element. But, like, I, it just makes me sad, because, like, I've also seen, like, a lot of posts and comments that are kind of just, like, in a way, supporting spoilers by saying, like, oh, if you didn't want to be spoiled, you should have read it by said time, or you shouldn't be late to the party, but, I mean, I know maybe that's just because I'm, like, her, but, like, I also feel like that's just inconsiderate to those who have been spoiled. Because, like, there are so many books, and it's really hard to read, like, every single book you have. I mean, everyone has a huge TBR, and it's really hard to, like, balance that out. And, like, also for people like me, I'm, like, busy, and I'm also a slow reader, so it's not like I can get all to all these books in time. I was literally, like, reading the book, like, I mean, I know I'm not super far into it, I'm, like, only a part or two in, but it's still, like, I didn't, I wish I wasn't spoiled that, you know, like, now it's, like, I mean, obviously I want to continue reading it, I, I'm going to anyway, but it just made me kind of sad, like, now I, 
I mean, I have that to look forward to to see how it's done, but it's still like, I mean, I wanted to read it as a reader, not a writer. Like, ooh, this is cool how she tied this in. Like, I mean, yeah, it's fun to read as a writer, but I wanted to read it as a reader and enjoy the story. <laughs> it just makes me like really upset, and I feel like there should be spoiler warnings. And like, honestly, I mean, this chat, like, yes, it's my feeling on spoilers and my rant on spoilers, and I'm not saying there's like. A certain solution to it because I'm not I know not everyone's gonna put up a spoiler warning and that's just not realistic I mean people are just gonna not really think about it and put something in and you know they'll unintentionally spoil people but I just wish this didn't happen and I like I just hate that this happened and I just wanted to rant and get that out it wasn't really like I don't want anything to come of this it isn't like I don't want to go t like attacking the original poster or anything and there's also like a lot of like mainstream novels like Twilight, The Hunger Games, and Harry Potter that I personally haven't read, though I do plan on, so don't attack me for that, I do plan on reading those. And I know those spoilers have been justified, but it's also like, I mean not everyone can read those too, or like they might want to read other stuff before they get to that, you know what I mean? Like you, I'm a mood reader and I kind of like feel bad for other mood readers who kind of just push things off like I do. Especially because it's like, yeah, I know most people have read those books, so it is like you can talk about it. And I, I, I do get some of them to an extent, but it's also like, if you love those books, you want other people to experience it and love it too. Like, just from some of the things I've heard about Harry Potter, I don't know if I'll love it as much because I'm not getting that surprise or like wondering what's going to happen next entirely. I don't know. I don't know too much about Harry Potter because I'm trying to avoid that like the best I can, even though I've heard quite a bit. <laughs> Another example I'll give of, like, a spoiler that's really hurt, <laughs> and I'm gonna put my hand up for this, because it's another fandom. But, like, I used to read Divergent, and I think, I don't know exactly what happened, I think I started reading Warriors, so I put Allegiant on the back burner, and then I found out that Triss dies, and now, like, it almost doesn't feel like there's a point in reading it. Now, that was several years ago, so I might just, f for the fun of it, because I do remember I enjoyed those books, and, like, I don't know, I've heard a lot of things about the end of the series not being too good, but it's also like... Why do we spoil things for people? I feel like we, there should just always be a warning. I feel like that is a given, but I guess it's not. Anyway, I'm sorry for having you guys all endure my angry morning rant. <laughs> this is definitely not the video I had planned for today, and I'll probably be making another, so maybe I'll post both of these on the same day or something. I'm not I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll post it on the same one as the one I plan on posting today. I don't know. No no idea when this is going out. But I don't know. I hope you found this rant somewhat entertaining. Uh let me know down below what your thoughts are on spoilers and maybe tell me a time you got spoiled but don't spoil me either. So like maybe say what book and I'll tell you if I read it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you found this entertaining. Have a good day and stay safe. Bye, guys.